Hey, I'm Fred Minnick, and I'm about to taste this Cedar Ridge Cast Drink Iowa Bourbon. That's right, Iowa Bourbon. Giddy up. So an interesting story about this Cedar Ridge Cast Drink is I was actually visiting, I visited Cedar Ridge a couple times. Uh, I was there tasting straight out of the barrel and I was looking the distillers right in the eye and I was like, why aren't you bottling this at cast drink? It's delicious straight out of the barrel. Instead, at the time, they were watering it down to 80 proof. Now they would actually eventually end up jacking up their proof a little bit for their Slipknot release. So this is, a, this is the distillery that does Slipknot's whiskey and they ended up increasing the proof to like 99 proof on the Slipknot Reserve, but that's still not cast drink. And I remember tasting this thinking, this is absolutely beautiful straight out of the barrel. So why aren't they bottling it that way? Well, when you can get it down to 80 proof and sell more cases, you know what, from a business perspective, it makes a lot more sense to do it 80 proof. But if you're a bourbon geek like me and all you care about is the flavor, the taste, the finish, the aromatic property, the color, you don't really care about the business side of it, side of things. So, but interestingly, Cedar Ridge is the number one selling bourbon in Iowa. Maybe that's because it's made in Iowa, but also I've been a big champion of theirs. I think they do great stuff. But so now they wrote me a card and they said, hey, we finally, we finally listened to you and we, we have a cash drink bourbon now. So I'm excited to taste it. Let's see if it's good, if it's as good out of the, straight out of the barrel as I remember it. Here we go. First of all, look at that. Whoa, oh, oh man, this stuff is just jumping out of the glass, ready to be tasted. But look at that, just absolutely gorgeous on the color. Big old beautiful amber. I'd say, you know, this is a lot more colorful uh, than I would expect out of a, let's see, what's the age on this? So this is definitely uh, a, a much brighter, darker color than I would expect out of a four-year-old. Even though that this is at 121 um, cast strength, this has really got some color to it. Take a look at that. Ooh, yeah, so this smells, it smells very sweet, very, very sweet. A lot of like uh, pastry smells to it. Think about walking into a confectionery and smell all of the caramel. And really, it's a caramel chew and like some pastries coming out of the oven. That's about as distinct as I can give you right now. God, it smells great. It smells great and it tastes even better. This is layered with chocolates, with caramel, with nutmeg, um, with honey, with hints of like raspberry and blackberry jam. So this is running the gambit of really sweet uh, and fruity. And to just at the end, there's a big old note of a, of a chili, kind of like, um, like a chipotle chili though. So it's got like a smoky, a little bit of a smoky, spicy quality to it. Absolutely delicious. Now, this is a single barrel, and as single barrels go, you just, you never know, um, you never know how good one barrel is going to be from the next. So, this barrel right here, right out of the cask, is absolutely fantastic. I would put this up against anything uh, in Kentucky right now it's just absolutely delicious is that next barrel going to be as good that's the crap shoot of single barrels it varies from barrel to barrel but if you can get your hands on let's see barrel number 14 uh period 317 go for it good job uh cedar ridge and i'm glad i could contribute to y'all's story of putting out bourbon but uh it only took you a few years i think it was well worth the wait that's going to do it, everybody, on this episode, this tasting episode. Please make sure that you click that subscribe button, uh, become a member if you'd like, and also, while you're at it, give us a like, 
and uh, let us know what you think of the episode in the comment section. I do read those and I like to make sure that I pay attention to what people are saying about the channel and how to improve it. But that's going to do it here, folks. Be safe out there. No licking handrails, no licking trash cans. And remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers, everybody.